Hey guys, Jay here. So today we are talking about hi-fi discounts. Yes, holiday season is here. Now we have Black Friday, Cyber Monday, followed by Christmas sales, and it's just awesome. Now I have to say last year, I didn't think the discounts were as significant as this year. This year, I'm seeing some significant discounts, like actual discounts. So I'm pretty excited. And of course, we still see some of those like $100 off, $50 off kind of Black Friday sales still. But I made sure to go through all these sites and actually come up with a list that actually has significant discounts worth your while. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. We're not gonna go over the entire catalog of discounts on these websites because they can be quite long. But I will leave a link to these stores that's uh, you know showing you all the discounts they have so you can go through it and uh, check for yourself. But today we're gonna be discussing the most significant discounts I found that is worth your while in my opinion. So before we go over the list, just a quick disclaimer, all the products that we'll be talking about in this video will be in the description below. And if you use those links, some of those links are affiliated links, which means that if you purchase it with the link, if you click on it and buy it, then I get a cut, the channel gets a cut. And this just helps me prepare content and make more content like this. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to support the channel, then you don't have to use the link. You can go to straight to the websites um, that I'm talking about in this video and find these exact same deals. The prices will not change whether you use the link or not. It just helps me continue on this channel and do this type of content. So please consider it. So the first site that we'll take a look is the Crushfield website. Now this site is pretty huge, pretty huge online retailer, which means they have some huge discounts on some of these items. Now, first sale, we have the Worthdale Super Linton Heritage. Now, basically 500 bucks off, meaning that you get the stands for free. This is the new Super Linton version. So we had the Linton, which I reviewed a while back and also a great speaker also gets a free stand minus 500 bucks 499 pretty good deal i would say um honestly speaking i don't think that these speakers will make anyone unhappy i think they're quite good speakers and especially they measure quite well and for those of you that want a little bit more rolled off highs the lintons were a great speaker and you know just overall a well-designed speaker now on the Worthdale side, we also have the Worthdale Evo 4.4. Now this speaker is on a, a pretty heavy discount. It's at $700 off, which is quite, quite good. And I actually heard the speaker and you can see here, it says top seller and best of 2025. I actually heard the speaker and it sounds really darn good. Um, I was actually looking forward to bringing the speaker in for review. Maybe it will happen in the future, but you can see it has 68 positive reviews, all five stars. And you know, 700 bucks, I think that was a pretty one of the pretty good discounts I found. Now, moving on, we have the 4.2 if the 4.4 is not an option because it's a floor standard. Uh, also getting about $450 off, so $1,099 for the pair. So that's pretty darn good. I think that is a superb deal on these loudspeakers. Also heard these at the show, I believe, and I was just, in love. Um, I really want to get the Evil series in. So Worfdale, if you're listening to this video, help me review them. Help me help you. Now, next we have the Revel Performa BE F328BE. Now, it's $2,000 off. Now, if you're someone that loves accurate sound, um, again, for me, Revels are a little bit too clinical for my liking too analytical for my personal liking, but hey, a lot of people love the Revel sound, the performance is next level, and you are getting a $2,000 discount on this very high-end model. Now, I will say, um, I did find a better deal on audio advice, so watch to the end of this video if you want a better deal, but this is still an amazing deal, so I thought it was worth mentioning in case audio advice runs out of their stock which does tend to happen during Black Friday. Now, the next one is the Revel Performa BE F228BE. Again, we are looking around $2,000 in savings and again, priced at $3,475 each. So you're looking at around seven grand for this high performing loudspeaker. 
I also found uh, a better deal on audio advice, a different website. So, you know, uh, watch to the end. Uh, Rebel Performa BE F226BE. Again, about $1,850 in savings, $2,000 each. Again, great deals on Rebel speakers all around. So if you were in the market for Rebel speakers, some accurate speakers, then I will take a look at these discounted Rebel loudspeakers. Now, next, something that I actually have really good experience with, the Polk Audio Reserve R700s. These are big, big towers. And you can see here, it says top seller. These speakers are absolutely crazy. Um, it was crazy for the price that it was listed for, but now it's at a discount of $330 in savings, which makes it even a better deal. Now, these are really big loudspeakers, so you do need a room, but man, man, that is crazy. You're spending about $1,500 because this is priced each. By the way, please price your speakers in pairs. Crutchfield, please. Uh, every website, please. <laughs> but anyways, th this is an amazing deal. I mean, for $1,500, gosh, uh, a big ass tower speaker. I mean, when you get the speaker, you'll realize, you'll be like, how the heck are these speakers $1,500 for the pair? Crazy. Now, of course, that's because of the savings. But anyhow, moving on, we have the R600. If you find the R700 too big for your room, which tends to happen. It was just borderline okay in my room. Now the R600 was probably more, you know, suitable for my room. So as you can see here, $254 in savings, which isn't a lot, but these are inexpensive speakers to begin with. They retail for about $850. It's on sale for $595 each. So you're about $1,200 for the pair on these loudspeakers. Awesome deal. And then of course the Polk R200. These are amazing. Um, I've used these for my rare channels, for my you know desktop. I've used it in my stereo. They're all around a amazing loudspeaker for the money. And of course, you get two hundred twenty-four dollars in savings. And this one is actually priced in pairs, which is weird. You know, it's like trying to confuse us. Now, five hundred twenty-five dollars for the pair. I mean, that's an absolute steal, man. Absolute steal. Retail for seven fifty. Now down to five twenty-five for the pair on these wonderful loudspeakers. Next, we have the MoFi Source Point 8. These, these are Andrew Jones designs. Uh, $800 off, uh, considering that they came out like last year. Uh, yeah, they are fantastic speakers. I heard them at shows, dual concentric design. If you like Kef speakers, I mean, I would highly suggest taking a look at these uh, Source Point 8 loudspeakers on a pretty heavy discount. $2,200 and that's for the pair, which is a wonderful, wonderful deal. Now I do like their 888 towers better, but this is a pretty darn good deal for these. Next, we have the Klipsch RP500M. Now these are actually pretty darn good loudspeakers. Now, uh, some of the Klipsch speakers get a bad rep. The 600M doesn't measure very well as well as other Klipsch speakers, but the 500M actually is pretty darn good. I mean, it's it's one of the speakers that actually does measure, measure somewhat well from my understanding. And you can see it's a top seller, 139 positive five-star reviews, uh, you know, retail for 580, saving $320. And now we are at $259 and that's for the pair. So basically stealing them at that point, right? Just, just take them. They're just saying, take them. Next, we have the Kef LS50 Meta. Love these loudspeakers, as you know, I've had them on my desktop for the longest time. Uh, really coherent sound, they're good for two channel, uh, perhaps you wanna add a sub, but otherwise these are just amazing. Put some great power behind it and you will not regret it. Now, these are for the pair, $1,000, saving $600. Again, top seller, 118 positive reviews. And you know, as a lot of people know, great, great loudspeakers. Now this is the meta version, which is the newer version, which is awesome, even better. So awesome to see that discount there. Now there are some hefty discounts on JBL loudspeakers, both on Crutchfield and Audio Advice that we'll talk about later. But these prices, unlike Revel, are exactly the same on both websites. So choose your poison. So here we have the JBL HDI 3800 
savings of $1,351. So that is $1,400 each for the pair after the discount, which is amazing. Now, I actually heard these loudspeakers and I was like, pretty floored. I actually really, really like these loudspeakers and would love to get it in. Again, a top seller and 30 positive five-star reviews from purchasing parties. Next, we have the 3,600, which is you know a little bit more uh, of a smaller model. And again, savings of over $1,000. So $1,000 each, about $2,000 for the pair. Again, really great loudspeakers designed by JBL, which you know, they take care into great uh, measurements and proper designing tools. Now, next we have the bookshelf speaker. If you're into that, HDI 1600, savings of almost 50%, $491. So you have $500 each, so $1,000 for the pair. Uh, this one is actually in low stock, so uh, make sure to jump on that deal if you wanted these loudspeakers, but for thousand dollars really great loudspeakers again heard them at shows really love them now we have the jbl hdi 1200p uh, this is a subwoofer it's a power subwoofer with 1000 watt power uh, frequency response digs down to 28 hertz absolutely love these subs these subs actually saw in person are really gorgeous the photos don't really do it ju uh, justice Georges, justice but really amazing. And what's even more amazing is that it's over $2,000 in savings, more than 50% off. So you can get these subs for $1,200, high performance subs, uh, 12 inch front firing. And again, uh, 11 very positive reviews. So what's not to love? Now, next we have the Elac Velo FS407. These are amazing loudspeakers. You guys know I reviewed these loudspeakers a while back. Uh, and they're just fantastic. You know, the airiness, the spaciousness, the impact, the, the drive. This loudspeaker is crazy. It's awesome. And you put some nice power behind them and they'll give you bass and dynamics for days. Now, $1,000 in savings, which is crazy in my opinion. $1,900 each. Now, still up there in terms of pricing, but these are really high-end loudspeakers made in Germany, designed in Germany. Not sure if it's all made in Germany, but designed in Germany. Next, we have the Definitive Technology Dimension DM80 loudspeakers. Now, these uh, Definitive Technology speakers have powered subwoofers, 12 inch subwoofers built into them. And that's one thing I like about them because if you're like someone that does two channel, but also does like home theater and also, you know, a small movie kind of entertainment space, these are quite good like i used to sell them at the previous high-end retail store that i used to work at and they just are fantastic um we had a guy that actually replaced their wilson audio loudspeakers with these and he was happy with it my opinion no they're not at the wilson audio level but definitely for one thousand dollars in savings and one thousand five hundred dollars each you know three thousand dollars for the pair I think you will be quite satisfied. Now, if that's a little bit too much and you want something a little bit smaller with 10 inch power subwoofers instead of 12, then we have these at $800 discount at $1,200 each. So that's it for the speaker section, which, you know, again, I think it's quite good of a deal. Now let's move on to some integrated amplifiers. So we have the, first of all, the name Unity Nova. So these are, as you can see, quite hefty in price. They're all in ones. And I, you know, we actually had quite a few of these sold when I used to work at the high-end retail store. And these are one of the units that I got to play around with a lot, uh, especially with Wilson audio pairings and so on. They really pack a punch. They're really dynamic. They're really clean and a nice, you know, kind of spaciousness uh, to the sound, but definitely, definitely uh, not comparable to separates, you know, especially with name separates in my opinion. But for all-in-one with Apple AirPlay, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, you know, all integrated into one box streaming, you know, it's a one streaming box. I think it's excellent and it's very, very high end. I think it virtually sounds better than any all-in-ones that I've tested to date. Now you save about $1,380, bringing the price down to $5,519. Again, still a high price to pay, 
But if you're looking for something like that, I think definitely worth a look. Now we have the next, the NAD M33. This is a great integrated amplifier. Uh, let me tell you, I've been thinking about bringing this in to review, but I had some uh, time to play around with it. This is built like a tank, 200 watts per channel. I also believe that you get uh, direct room correction with it and you're saving $1,000 off and you can see 38 very positive reviews and you can get them for $5,000 now. I think that's quite a bit of a good uh, good deal, especially if you want that room correction that the Direct Live uh, offers, which is one of the best in the industry right now. Next, we have the NAD C368 uh, BlueOS-2i. Actually had this in uh, as a review sample, didn't get around to reviewing it and I just sent it back. But basically, uh, if you like the blue sound, you will like this. It just has more functionality and also has some uh, built-in power, 80 watts per channel. And you can get it for $1,000 now, $600 off. Again, you can see the very positive 40 positive reviews on this. So something to consider if you're looking for something um, somewhat of an all-in-one. That's what this is, you know, without the bells and whistles and direct live and all that kind of stuff. Now, next is some high-end stuff, but at a very steep discount. We have the Mark Levinson number 5805. This is a stereo integrated amplifier for digital and analog sources. So basically a hub, uh, you get everything in this with 125 watts, into eight ohms and 250 watts into four ohms. You have both digital and analog inputs and you have Bluetooth as well and even a phono stage moving magnet and moving coil cartridge. Now I've checked out some Mark Levinson stuff at the show running with a pair of JBLs and they sounded pretty darn good. Now I don't really have experience with the modern Mark Levinson uh, in this room. I haven't had a chance to review it myself, but honestly, uh, for $4,000 off on this unit. I mean, if you saw these units in person, they're built like a tank and they sound generally very, very good. So $4,000 off, I mean, that's the type of deal that um, no dealers will give you. If you walk in and say, hey, can I get $4,000 off on this? You know, most likely the answer is no. So it's kind of amazing that, the, you know, that they're taking off $4,000 off this. I don't know why, if you know, if you know something that I don't, let me know in the comment section. But next, uh, we have the Mark Levinson 5802. Again, same deal, uh, you know, just a lower model. And this one is $3,000 off at $5,500. So, but $1,000 less than the previous model. Now, next one is something I actually have in-house. This is the Cambridge Audio Evo 150. Absolutely an amazing streamer, uh, all in one really, because it has 150 watts of power. It's class D, uh, it has Hypex modules in there, which is also you know, a very good sign. Has uh, you know, a, a moving magnet uh, phone stage as well, from my understanding. And of course, it has 37 very positive reviews. Now, $250 is not a big discount, but the reason I put it here is if you want to get the Evo CD transport, which I also have in-house to review, it's a very nice looking unit and they're both like matching units. So if you get that, then you save an additional $700. That's a special offer on this. So that's the only thing that I will say is that if you get the combo, then the discount may be bigger and worth your while. But $250, I don't think that's a big of enough a discount for Black Friday, honestly speaking. Now, next we have something that is quite of a quite a bit of a bit of a discount, and that's the Arcam SA20. Now, yes, 90 watts per channel, uh, 651 dollars off, and that brings you down to 1,000 dollars for this. Now, I don't really have much of a personal experience with this, but I've just heard so many good things about this unit, and as you can see here, 42 very positive reviews. Uh, so maybe something that I would look forward to getting in at some point. But yeah, that's the deal with the SA20. Now we have the SA10, which is discounted at $381 down to $500. And this one's a little bit less power. I would say quite a bit less of a power at 50 watts instead of 90 watts. But if you don't need that power and if you want to save some money, I mean, this one is just 500 bucks, which is absolutely insane. 
I would personally consider this for like desktop setups or you know bedroom systems and stuff like that. Uh, second small system. Again, 56 very positive reviews. So that's the sale we have going on on the Crushfield website for integrated amplifiers. And now let's move on to some subwoofers. Now subwoofers, we have quite of a deal on the SVS subwoofers. So first of all, if we look here, we have the SVS SB4000 subwoofers saving of $500. But, but if you get more than one, so if you get two, which is what I recommend for stereo and even for home theater, really um, more subs the merrier. But when you get more than two, you get an additional 5% in savings. So what ends up happening is that when you go out to the checkout page, as you can see here, the total savings come to about $1,140 instead of just, um, what was it before? $500. So that is amazing. Love that. Now, same thing goes for SVS Micro. As you can see here, if you get more than two, then you get additional 5% saving. Also a great subwoofer for small spaces. If you don't want a big subwoofer like MySpace, um, I would prefer a smaller subwoofer like this because I'm not in a huge room. Same thing for bedroom systems. And as you know, SVS makes some really good subs. As you can see, very positive reviews. And that's pretty much it for the uh, SVS subs. So some really good deals. Check it out if you were looking for some SVS subwoofer deals. Next. Now we have this uh, Klipsch SPL120. Now I actually had this sub. It's a very good sub. Now, is it as good as SVS or REL? No, but I mean for $400, you know, $450 in savings with 225 star reviews, best of 2025 top seller. This is really a satisfying sub. It digs low, it has pretty good output, 300 watts, an amplifier built in there, 12 inch front firing subwoofer. So I would definitely take a look if you want something that is, you know, pretty easy to work with, not too expensive, but you want to add that low end in your system. Um, you know, if you can only get one SVS subwoofer, I would opt to get two of these instead if that's the budget. That's how good these are. I love them. Now, we also have the Klipsch R121SW. Again, uh, $300 in savings brings the price down to $300. Pretty good sub, but it's low in stock, so I would suggest you jump on this deal if you were looking for this specific sub. But same deal as the previous one, pretty good sub. I would personally go with the 120 because I feel like that's a bit of a better deal, personally speaking. Now next, we have the JBL Studio 650P powered subwoofers. There's a 10 inch powered subwoofer. And this actually again, you know, photos don't do justice. It's a very nice looking sub with very thick surrounds and has 250 watts of amplifier built in. $300 discount down to $400. Now for some reason, it only has three reviews and not such a good rating compared to the other subs and speakers that we've seen so far, but I can attest to it. This, this sub's pretty good. Um, you know, pretty well. If I have to choose this between this and the Klipsch sub that we saw before, I would personally go with the uh, Klipsch sub just because it's 12 inch if you're in a bigger room. If you want a little bit more punch and kind of faster bass, I would say the JBL. But that's it for the subwoofer section on Crutchfield. Uh, we have the DAC section and it's really meant for your phones, but Honestly, you know, $130 off. If you're looking for something like this, you know, for $200, I think it's a pretty good deal. I got to try around with it at shows and it does have a balanced 4.4 meter uh, millimeter output for those of you that want that kind of output. I personally do because a lot of my headphones now have that, but again, a good discount. Now we have the Cambridge Audio DAC Magic 200M. Now I've used this thing for ages on my desktop. Now, despite the fact that it's using an ESS Sabre DAC chip in there, it's actually quite warm sounding of a DAC and I actually really enjoy it. So the headphone section is okay, but I personally use a different headphone amplifier with it. It's honestly a great sounding DAC. And yes, the saving is only a hundred dollars, but for $400, this is a really good deal in my opinion because this is a top seller, best of 2025. And look at the reviews, 122 very positive reviews. So 
Again, I would consider it because just because I had it, you know, I just love the sound of that thing. 100 bucks, you know, discount is not great, but it's also not terrible considering the you know, retail price is around 500. Now, next is something that I genuinely also love, AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt. Now this thing, um, I've actually sat down at shows when I used to exhibit at shows as a dealer. I would sit down and I would just listen to this, this thing. You know, I used to love uh, plugging stuff into this and just trying it out. It's actually quite good of a DAC uh, and you can plug this into your laptop and you know, it's a portable device and you can use it as a DAC for that. Or you can use it in your stereo if you have a 3.5 to RCA. And as you can see, it's top seller, best of 2025. 176 very positive reviews and you are saving $150, bring the price down to 200 buck. So that is a pretty good deal in my opinion. And we have now uh, moved on to the soundbar. Now soundbar, I don't have that much because you know, I'm not really that much interested in soundbars at this moment, but we have the best of 2025. I thought this was a pretty good deal. JBL bar 1300X. Now I personally have not review this and I personally had no experience with it, but I've heard some really good stuff about it from other reviewers as well. It's really interesting because you get this kind of, um, uh, you know, separate thing that you can put behind. Um, I'm not going to go into it, but it, look at it. This module system is kind of cool, but it's $800 discount right now. Bring the price down to $900 best of 2025 once again, and 27 very positive reviews. So something I would consider if I was looking for a sound bar, a good sound bar. Now, next we have the turntable section. Now this section is quite good with the discounts. Now, first of all, we have the uh, MoFi Ultra deck with the uh, gold MC moving coil cartridge pre-mounted. And this one is uh, $1,000 off at $2,500. Now the reviews are not that great, but I can attest to this, you know, turntable. It's a great turntable. It was my reference turntable before the one that I have right now, which is the Pure Fidelity turntable, which is 10 grand, which is much more expensive than this. So I moved up quite a bit. But this is a great turntable. Mobile Fidelity, as you know, makes, you know, records, you know, they do the recordings and mix and mastering as well. And of course, this is a turntable that was my go-to. That's why I, you know, got it as my uh, previous reference turntable. Very good turntable if you want a quiet, modern turntable without all the blings and uh, bells and whistles. You know, this is a great turntable. And of course, this one is the better uh, with a better cartridge. There's one here that is with a MoFi Ultra, tra Ultra Tracker moving magnet cartridge, which is personally the one that I would go with because that's exactly what I had. <laughs> um, and $1,000 in savings, bring the price down to $1,800. And let me just say, this is a great turntable. With this cartridge on this turntable, I think there's very little to complain. It's a very quiet, it's a very uh, easy to set up and work with turntable. And honestly, it looks great as well. It's, it's a very, it's not a very big turntable, but it's quite hefty as well. Um, and then we have also, if you're looking for a great cartridge, we have the Master Tracker, $300 in savings, bring the price down to $500. Again, I do love the MoFi cartridges. Uh, specifically, I love the Ultra Tracker the, the most uh, because it's quite budget friendly. And you know, with $200 discounts, bring the price down to 300 which is awesome. So that's what I would look at for discounts on the turntable section on Crutchfield. Now let's move on to audio advice. Now for audio advice, we have the speakers um, and some of these overlap, but I will tell you which ones have a better deal on which site. Now starting with the Revel Performa BE M126BE. Now this is a bookshelf speaker and the saving is at $710. Uh, so that's a quite a bit of a good deal in my opinion, but I didn't see this deal on crush field So that's why I put it here. It's available on audio advice. Next we have the Revel Performa BE F328BE and this is what I was talking about You actually get about $800 off additionally from what was offered on crush field uh, on audio advice So very simply put it's cheaper on audio advice so that's the deal with that. 
uh, we have the Monitor Audio Silver 507G, which again is a pretty nice loudspeaker. Um, it has really nice acoustic centers and it uses smaller drivers for the mid-range, which is really nice. And then of course the drivers are in parallel or in series, don't quote me on it, for better sensitivity. But savings of $510, quite a bit of a discount and this price is for the pair. So that is quite of a good uh, discount for the speaker in my opinion. Now, if you want something a little bit smaller, we have the Monitor Audio Silver 207G, also priced for the pair of $1,650, savings of $550. And yes, again, this is a pretty darn good loudspeaker. So next, we have the Martin Logan Foundation F2, which, which please, let me tell you, I wanna get the speaker in to review so bad because I heard the speaker and it's just, unbelievable performance for the money. And now you're getting it for $250 additional discount, which means that you're gonna get it for $750 each. So quite a bit of a discount because if you add up the discounts, actually 500 bucks total off instead of 250 because it's priced per, per unit. But wonderful loudspeaker, um, has airy, punchy, dynamic sound, kind of like the more expensive paradigms, but imagine it with more air and much less expensive. I really love this speaker. I'm gonna bring it in for review uh, very, very soon, as soon as I can. Now, talking about big loudspeakers, we have the Kef Q550 550. And this is a speaker that my friend Tujin owned for the longest time. Like he had it in his own theater and it's a really good loudspeaker. Just a lot of speaker for the money. Now, of course, they have a new Q series coming out, so that may be why, but you get $200 in savings for the pair, uh, sorry, for each, so $400 in total in savings, $550 uh, each, bringing the price down to about uh, $1,100 $1, for the pair. Hopefully, I'm doing that math right. Yes, so, I mean, for $1,100, guys, crazy loudspeakers, you know, that the size is pretty up there. It's like right on there with the Poco R700. Now we have the LS60 from Kef. This is a wireless music system, meaning that you don't need an amplifier. It's all built in there. Uh, you just set these up and actually saw these at shows, how to listen to them. They sound pretty darn good. They're not at the Kef Blade level for sure, but they're cute. They're cute and they sound pretty darn good. And if you're someone that wants a minimal system with nothing, no amplifier, no separates, and you just want a speaker built with everything in it, this is a pretty darn good speaker. Now, a saving of $2,000, bring the price down to $5,000 for the pair, which in my opinion is a pretty darn good deal. Now, next we have the JBL HDI 3800. Same deal we saw on Crutchfield. So if you can't find it on Crutchfield, then you can find it on Audio Advice, whichever has stock, uh, depending on you know who runs out of stock first. And then we also have the HDI 3600 on here for the same deal. Same thing with the HDI 1600. And then we have the same thing with the sub as well, the HDI uh, 1200P that I showed you earlier on Crutchfield. Again, all same deals. Now, something I didn't see on Crutchfield is the JBL 4329P. This is a power studio monitor. And actually, this is a pretty nice uh, for desktop setups as well as you know some small near field setups in my opinion. And saving of on $1,000, bringing the price down to 3,500, which is a great deal in my personal opinion. So check that out. Next, we have the JBL 430P, which is also a powered studio monitor. And this is priced for the pair savings of nearly $1,000 at $900 in savings, bringing the price down to $1,500 from $2,400. So again, I think it's a great deal. Great speaker if you want something powered uh, you know, by JBL. Really well designed and both of these speakers are relatively flat in how they measure and sound in my personal opinion and from my own research. Now, next we have the Golden Ear Triton 2 Plus. Again, $851 in savings, bringing the price down to $1,900 from $2,750. Again, 
I'm not particularly a fan of this loudspeaker, but some people really are. Um, and you know, the savings is quite hefty on this one. So take a look if you were looking for a golden ear loudspeaker. Same thing if you're looking for something more higher end, the golden ear Triton reference. This is actually the one that I heard for myself and I was, eh, you know, lukewarm about it. Maybe it was the setup, maybe it was something else, but from, you know, it, it was not in my room. So uh, I won't say too much about it, but savings of over $1,000 and close to $2,000 in savings, bringing the price down to $4,500. Still a great deal if you were in for that. Now, another speaker we saw on Crushfield, the Revel Performa BE F228BE. Now, again, you are saving more on audio device, saving $2,500 instead of just $2,000 on Crushfield. So it's a better deal on audio device. So I just wanted to let you guys know that instead of you guys going back and forth and comparing prices, I'm just doing that for you here. And then we have the Dali Oberon 9 for standing loudspeakers, $600 in savings, bringing the price down to $2,400 instead of $3,000 for the pair. Now, I had a chance to listen to these loudspeakers. I really like their woofer design. I really like the overall sound of these speakers as well. Um, something that I look forward to reviewing some more Dali speakers on my channel in the future. So that'll happen probably in the new year. I'll request some, um, they're just down the street, so it's weird that I haven't reviewed that many uh, Dali speakers. The distributor is just down the street. But anyways, great loudspeaker, and I think that's a fantastic deal, and you should take a look at it if you want something a little bit more on the uh, warmer side. It's slightly, it's neutral for the most part, but slightly warm from what I've heard. But again, Dali speakers are pretty darn good, and if you were in for that, take a look. Now let's take a look at some integrated amplifiers. So we don't have that many integrated amplifiers on audio advice that I found to be a significant sale, but we have the name Muso. So if you saw the name Unity Nova that I showed you before on Crutchfield, this is basically the uh, smaller version of that. And name Muso was one of the best sellers when I used to work at the high-end retail store. It's a really good all-in-one as well. And here you get $700 in savings, bring the price down to 1,300. Like this is what we used to sell. And, and mind you, it was not the second gen, the first gen when I used to sell this. And we never gave out this kind of pricing. I mean, $700 on this is pretty darn good, pretty darn good sale. So I'll take a look if you want something all in one and something that fits right under your TV or, you know, kind of gets out of the way. Now, Parasound Halo Hint 6, another unit that I know very, very well. Uh, this thing is feature packed. It's, it's, it's a monster. Um, it is a really good unit. I believe John Curl designed this one as well. Uh, just overall feature pack, pre-amplifier built-in, uh, DAC built-in, um, you know, all the adjustments. It, it's, it's a really nice unit. It has naturally that warm and robustic bass kind of sound. And so $750 off, um, and that brings the price down to $3,349, which I think is a pretty good discount. I believe also it has formal stage built in, but don't quote me on it. It's just a very versatile unit. Now, going to solo amplifiers. Now, this is where I thought the sales were quite good. Um, so we have the Parasound Halo A21 Plus. So this one is a really nice amplifier. And although Halo, you know, Parasound A series are uh, robust in the bass and it's really rich sounding, really good texture. If you ever heard the Parasound amplifiers, they're quite, quite good. Now, $600 in savings, bring the price down to $3,600. These are all class AB designs, by the way. And so I think that's a pretty good deal on the A21 plus. And then we have the A23 plus, which is the lower model. Now, personally, I like the A21 plus way more, but they also cost way more. Now you only get a saving of $250 on the A23 plus, but it's still a really good amplifier. Like the A23 plus is not by any means a bad amplifier in comparison to the A21 plus. Uh, the A21 plus is just next level. So the A23 plus, I would say even at that, you know, small discount of 250 is worth your while if you're looking for a sound characteristic that is robust, that Paris sound sound. Um, if you value that, I'll take a look. Now we have the Petri Gone 400. Now that saving is kind of crazy to me. 
over $1,000 in sales, exactly $1,100 in savings, bringing the price down to $1,900 from $3,000. Um, you know, you guys know how I feel about Gonfet designs. Now, I haven't particularly experienced this this model for myself, but I've had friends that tell me and you know tell me great things about this unit. I might check it out in the future. But as you know, I currently use a GON amplifier, the AGD Audio Monoblocks as my personal reference amplifiers. So it's quite amazing that they're discounting it this much. You know, I've never seen an amplifier discount this much, um, especially considering that this is not very old. It's, I believe it was like released last year. Um, I heard some rave about it last year. So anyways, that's the deal with the amplifiers on audio advice. Now moving on to subwoofer. Now we have again the, the SVS SB4000. Um, and I think this is actually a better deal on audio advice if you buy the dual subs, if you buy more than one sub, because you're getting $1,000 in savings. Uh, actually, it might be a about the same on Crutchfield as well. But again, kind of crazy. You're gonna getting over over a thousand dollars in savings uh, for these wonderful subs, and they're very powerful subs, mind you. So you get that. Uh, we have the PB4000, which is a little bit more because it's ported in the front. But if you want the sealed version, you can go back to that. Uh, it's actually a lot less. So it might be better for those music enthusiasts that want a closed sub for those more a transient response on the base. Now we have the SVS Dual PC4000. Now, $600 is a pretty good discount, but it's not the most amazing discounts on that we've seen so far. But let me tell you why this is a good discount. This sub, as you can see, is no ordinary sub. Now, Tujin used to have a, one of these in the corner in his home theater in his big ass basement, and these will just fill it in. These are just some crazy subs. Uh, built with some amazing technology. And so if you're someone that doesn't want a traditional sub, some, want something uh, more look like, looks like more of a bass trap that you can put into the corners and really bring that room gain into the equation and just rumble and crumble your listening space, these will do that. And again, great pricing at $600 of discount. Uh, if you want something a little bit more smaller and you just don't want to <laughs> crumble your listening room, then we have the PC2000 Pro, also a great uh, you know, cylinder kind of sub cabinet design. And that's about $400 in discount, bringing the price down to $1,800. Now, another kind of sub that I want to bring attention to you is the JBL L10CS. Now, this is a classic series on JBL sub lineup. And this is actually a pretty good, gorgeous looking sub, especially if you have vintage subs or one of those kind of classic series like the L100, then I will take a look at these because they just match very well sonically as well as aesthetically. Now it's only $270 in savings, but this was not an expensive, expensive sub to begin with. They were only $700. And so this is a pretty significant discount in proportion to that. So you can get it for about $430 now. So that's pretty much it for the sub uh, deals on audio advice. And if we go to digital, we have two actually, just two. Uh, we have the Peachtree Pre DAC, uh, which will mate very well with the Gone Fit amplifier that I just showed you from Peachtree, which was also discounted heavily over $1,000. Now this is discounted for $1,000. So bring the price down to $1,500. Again, uh, really good discount in my opinion. Anything over a thousand dollars in discount, I consider that pretty darn good. Uh, now we have the Hi-Fi Rose RS201E. Now, if you remember, I actually reviewed this unit. I was actually one of the first reviewers to review Hi-Fi Rose. Now, this is a pretty neat, you know, it's a small unit, kind of like the Ever Solo, but this is a really nice streamer. Uh, you know, one of the str strengths of this unit is that you can play YouTube on it as well. And anyone that has experience with Hi-Fi Rose, you know, um, you know, you you know that they're built very well with higher quality. Uh, the build quality is like next level. Like EverSolo does not compare compare to the um, Hi-Fi Rose in terms of the, the the aluminum and the craftsmanship, the dials and all that kind of stuff. But savings in uh, about seven hundred dollars. 
bring the price down to 1,500. Uh, it's great because I personally haven't seen that much discounts happen from Hi-Fi Rolls last year. So this year we're seeing some not, not not crazy, but like you know, okay discounts. And I think this is a very good discount. And if you were looking at this unit, I think uh, you should you know jump on this deal because that's a pretty good discount. And I'm not sure if we're gonna see that discount again, but who knows? Uh, next we have some turntable stuff. Now. Let me tell you, uh, we got some really crazy, like actually crazy deals on turntables. Like I'm not even looking for some stuff on right now uh, regarding turntables because I'm pretty much done uh, until the end of the year or new year, I should say, with my turntable setup. But all these deals are absolutely nuts. It makes me want to buy it. So first of all, we have the MoFi Studio Deck. Now we looked at the Ultra Deck on Crutchfield. Those are the more expensive, uh, turntables but the studio deck is no slouch either it's a little bit smaller um a little bit thinner but honestly the studio deck it, it as your first turntable like i wouldn't even look at project or other turntables compared to this especially at this discount you're getting 700 dollars off bringing the price down of this turntable to 800 buck uh, <laughs> buckaroos that's insane this is not an $800 turntable. You know, it was $1,500. That's a pretty fair price for this turntable in my opinion. Even at that price, it was like raved about as how, you know, budget friendly, you know, high performance turntable, you know, 800 bucks. That is an incredible deal in my personal opinion. Um, just makes me wanna buy this for my girlfriend or something, but I, I know she's gonna laugh at my face. Um, but next, we're looking at the Ortofon Concord Music. Okay. What's going on here? $450 in savings. This is this is a $600 cartridge. And actually a pretty darn good cartridge, if I may. Um, you, you can get this thing for $150? I almost feel like I, I need to buy this right now and just stash it somewhere. Ugh, crazy. Um, but yeah, that, that just baffled me a little bit. Now again, Order from Red. This is a cartridge I know very well. $400 in savings, this is a $500 cartridge. $400 in savings, bring the price down to 99. I'm at this point, they're just saying, take it. They're just giving it away. Um, not sure what's going on with that. Like maybe they're just continuing it. Uh, maybe they have like actually too much stock. Um, but yeah, that's that's a pretty good discount. Now, and then we get the Rega Planer 8. Again, this is one of, one of the greatest turntables that I know. Um, that a lot of my clients absolutely loved when I used to work at the high-end retail store. Tons and tons of people had this. Um, it's a very high-end turntable. It's over $1,000 in savings, bring the price down to $3,100. Absolutely nuts. In my opinion, that's pretty crazy for a discount on this turntable. And then we get to the Rega Planer 6, if the 8 is not within your budget. As you can see, the savings drop dramatically but still you know nevertheless i think it's a pretty good discount for a turntable 370 dollars in savings bring the price down to 1875 and regular turntables are you know generally regarded very well and i personally like them quite a bit but the regular planer 3 also uh saving of 470 dollars bring the price down to 1125 dollars again if you're looking for a turntable that's actually very high performing uh you know better than project budget turntables for just a little bit more money, I will take these deals seriously and have a good, serious look. Next, we have one soundbar system that I thought was worth mentioning, and that's the Samsung Q990D. Now, this is a soundbar system that I actually reviewed. It's a very good soundbar system, uh, especially if you're in a small home theater and you can't mount speakers everywhere. This will give you 11 front firing facing speakers, one subwoofer, four up firing channels, absolutely nuts. And I actually, I actually still use it to this day. I removed my previous, uh, what was it, 7 chan 7 7.2 channel setup, and then actually uh, put this in, and I'm actually enjoying that more than my traditional 7.2 setup with my receiver. So that's just me, you know, my, my space is a bit small upstairs for my home theater, but $500 in savings, bring the price down to $1,500. Honestly speaking, in my, you know, as, as a user of one of these things, absolutely amazing. If you're looking for a home theater in your living room, in your 
a smaller home theater and you don't want to mount speakers everywhere and go for a true Dolby Atmos 11 point, you know, 1.4, you know, point whatever channel, then get this. Uh, I, I don't think you will regret it personally, especially if you have a Samsung TV because you can actually kind of, you know, made it together to use the internal um, uh, speakers on the Samsung TV as well to work with the soundbar. So if you have a Samsung sound uh, uh, TV, then it will work with this soundbar even better. But nevertheless, I think that's a pretty good discount on this Samsung soundbar system. And then on Amazon, we have some like Wim audio discounts going on. I know a lot of you guys like Wim. I'm personally kind of indifferent about it. I'll have some reviews of Wim devices um, on my channel soon, but I have I've been testing them out, and you know we'll we'll talk about that in the review itself. But for the most part, the deals this year seems pretty decent. And honestly, I hope this video helps you guys out in your you know decision making process. Whether you're watching this for fun or actually looking at some deals, I hope this video outlines some great deals ahead of. Uh, your own research because I did spend quite a bit of time going through all of these Black Friday sale deals and trying to choose ones that actually, in my opinion, was a significant discount. That's worth your look. So again, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please click that like button and subscribe. Helps me greatly. Doesn't cost you anything. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until next time. Oh, and happy holidays.